Hello, YouTube. Well, it's time for 10 minutes to dawn again. Uh, last time we had a very successful run with diamond and the crossbow. Um, if I have to rank the weapon at this point, it's crossbow, shotgun, revolver, blank cannon. Um, I'm gonna try Scarlet and Hina in this video, probably. So let's just jump into it. Crossbow is supposed to be stationary when you use it, but being stationary in this game is not as easy as it sounds. And her ability is definitely made for something else than the crossbow. Time attack speed is something the crossbow can be said to have. Uh, first upgrade. I'll take the light weapon away, thank you. The dagger is simply amazing. When you have that perk, three of that perk fully upgraded. Well, congratulations. There ain't much that can't hurt you anymore. I increase the damage. Because hopefully it will be able to kill enemies in one hit now. If I can increase its movement speed, I will be able to stay stationary. But for that, I have to level up, and for that, I will have to collect the experience. I love making those guys explode and kill their own friends. Heavy weaponry, which is more damage for me. As you can see, that thing slays. Now I just need to get. Well, let's take the power shot simply because it's more damage. Which means my daggers will one shot pretty much everything. Same with my normal shot. Right now, they are enough to kill things in one hit even while moving. Which means starting enemies really have 25 XP in their health. As I believe. Hmm. I'll take the Holy Shield just because. Okay, the explodey guys have a little bit more health. Now we are at the point of the game where the common enemies got an upgrade. Oh, a little bit more health. Which seems to be the case. I'd love to get the ghost because that means more damage and. More importantly, it increases the attack speed of my scythe and daggers quite substantially. Um, sure. Let's go double daggers. Not to confuse with double dagger, or rather double dagger, because that's a bot. Another level up. Very nice. I should focus maybe on killing the Cthulhu lookalike. Because that gives me a free upgrade. And what is something you like? Free upgrade.
So, if you could die, I would be very thankful. Um, uh, yes. As you can see, all my weapons except for my crossbows that are right good. This is looking to be quite a nice round. I just could have that guy there. Ah. Uh, hmm. I'll take the big shot, mainly because most of my attacks are dependent on my attack of the gun. Which is one of the reasons why I like the crossbow this much. It has the highest base damage of any gun would be way available to me. And it gets bonus for not moving, so... As you can see, it can make short work of pretty much everything. But I hate not being able to see the enemies quickly. The dark background, freeze... They can make you miss something quite easily. Um, Danger Boy. Nope. Um. Let's go with the reload road. Root. Route. Yes, yes, yes. Speaking and me ain't big friends. Not the biggest fan of this creature. Uh, level up is always nice. Reaper rooms are amazing. Especially considering I already have the first piercing effect from the crossbow. Don't want to get hit because, well, I'd rather keep my shield. much health do you have left? I lost my shield. Well, that increases my stats a little bit, but nothing I can wrap around. And great. Now I'm in trouble and probably going to die. Unless this guy is dying pretty soon, I am in trouble. He died just now. Really? Right? True? Yes, he did. Uh, okay, it seems there are only three turns. And one that works for me is this one. No, there should be a bunch of experience up here. And I truly need it. Um, yes, please, for the range for girls. As long as I survive, I should be able to win this round. But, well, that's as long as it. So, 
level up is nice to get. I don't need the bullet damage. The lightning isn't gonna help me at all. Pyro match isn't helpful either, so make me big. Even if I'm not the biggest fan of that, since that projectile attack is now able to hit me more easily. Maybe I should fire on those guys. I've gotten my shield back. That's nice. And I've reached the point where those guys are well, annoyingly many summon. But I can stay in the middle and pretty much game's gonna do everything by itself. Choose the splinter, though that once far away I'm getting hit quite nicely too. Now just to pick up a little bit of experience, get a level up. as if I have much to do anymore. Sure, fire starter. I'm not gonna shoot any fireballs, but... Okay, maybe I should start shooting a little bit. Since I can't seem to stop running into things... Which is gonna be death of me. Really should move so much. different points I'm gonna make videos longer as with um, 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 Dungreed where the runs are long but I'm here I'm gonna just do one more video with the last character and I probably well come back to this when the full game is out if the full game is a substantial upgrade to this. But all in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and bye.